Now, to be a good preacher, you need to be comfortable in front of a large audience. And Raphael Rowe has been to see one clergyman in action at one of the country's biggest arenas, but perhaps not for the reason you think. The O2 Arena, setting for some of London's biggest shows and sporting events. You wouldn't necessarily think a religious performer would pull in the crowds here. There is power in God the Father, in God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But Derek Azaze is no ordinary man of God. He's the punching preacher. <laughs> Derek Delboy Azaze is a middleweight professional boxer. But when he's not throwing punches in the ring, he's preaching knockout sermons. There is power in the Trinity. There Tonight he's at the O2 Arena. Not preaching, but taking the next steps in his boxing career. If he wins, he'd be eligible for title fights. But how did Derek end up combining Bible bashing with boxing? I grew up in a Christian household, so going to church on Sunday and obviously believing in God is something that's always been installed in me and my family. Growing up, I probably wasn't the easiest child to deal with, do you know what I mean? And I used to get into a lot of trouble and get into a lot of fights. How did you find boxing? Um, Sports was always my release. So someone recommended boxing to me. It went from a hobby to a passion. That passion led Derek to turning professional two years ago. And so far, he's won nine out of nine fights. His path to preaching began during his university studies in Nottingham. He attended God's Vineyard Church, but initially found himself struggling with his faith until one night he had some divine inspiration. God spoke to me in a dream and told me that I'd be a pastor. I'd rededicate my life to Christ and I'd made the decision to be like, okay, cool. Maybe I should try and take my faith seriously. I will let everything that comes out of my mouth be of the spirit and not my opinion in Jesus' name. Derek's dream became a reality and he was able to combine his love of boxing with his faith when he was ordained as a pastor. Along with that came a new identity, the punching preacher. I hated the nickname at first. Um, it was given to me by my manager. And at first, every time he said it, it would just get on my nerves. After a while, I think God definitely played a factor in it. I sat down one day and I realised it's not a lie. I do punch, and sometimes I do preach. And how does Derek reconcile his faith with going into the ring and potentially hurting people? I always pray for myself and my opponents that we both get out in and get out of the ring safe. No, a big respect to that dude, man. Derek has a great team around him who support him in all aspects of his life and career. They even found time before the fight to give me a few pointers. Although I think I'll stick to the day job. Good luck, man. Well, the time has come for Derek, and it's the moment of truth where he steps in the ring and attempts to make it 10 out of 10. God is with me all throughout, before the ring and inside the ring, whatever I do. You're in your own little world when you're in there. Once the bell goes, I feel like a switch just flicks. It's round one, and already Derek's opponent is showing he's a big threat. This is brutal. There's a Bible scripture that says, you know, everything that your hand finds do and do it well in the book of Ecclesiastes. Which means, you know, you need to fast shots and hit hard shots. So that's all part and parcel of the sport. But it's not long until the punching preacher gets the upper hand. Derek's now firmly on top and lands a decisive punch in the second round. He's gone, he's out, he's out. Derek, congratulations, man. With God on your side when you were fighting tonight? Yeah. If God's on my side, who can I fear? Do you know what I mean? Um, people wonder why I'm so calm. How can I not be calm? You know what I mean? I've got, I've got, the, I've got the hardest puncher in my corner, innit? So, um, yeah, man, all glory to God, man. <laughs> Derek Azazi, the punching preacher.